denial of property rights. Traditionally, the untouchables were not allowed to own any property and were only expected to serve their masters. Citing the denial of such rights in the Dharmashastras, the untouchables were denied property rights. This is inhuman and also the violation of basic human rights. In the traditional political system, untouchables were not allowed to participate. During the British rule, the untouchables got few political rights. Due to the efforts of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the untouchables could get opportunities in politics and administrative areas. After the independence, a reservation was brought to effect in electoral constituencies for scheduled caste and tribes. The Indian constitution provides commitment for the eradication of untouchability, which itself unique in the world history. Our constitution is important from this angle. As a result many legal measures have been implemented to eradicate untouchability practice. Jyoti Bafuel Untouchability as a social problem has still remained in spite of efforts from leaders like Jyoti Bafuel, Dr. Ambedkar and many others. It has remained alive in the Indian society. Hence, Many legal provisions have been brought to eradicate untouchability. The Article 17 of the Indian Constitution prohibits untouchability. The Government of India has implemented Untouchability Crime Act in 1955. Civil Rights Protection Act was implemented in 1976 with necessary changes to the Act of 1955. According to this Act, practicing untouchability is a crime. Universal rights to vote and participate in election has also been provided. Moreover, Reservation has been given in the field of education and employment for scheduled castes and tribes scheduled along with backward classes. The Act of 1989 has given some specific responsibilities for the governments in the eradication of untouchability. Like this, the independent India has taken special interest in providing equality to all.